Guys, I love when this happens, when I get a knife in that absolutely surprises me. This is the Rosecraft Blades Joka, and I absolutely have fallen in love with this in the short time that I've carried it this morning. So let's turn this around. Let's take a look at this surprising knife from above. Good morning, guys. I did not intend to film this today. Uh, this was a knife that I was going to put in my pocket this morning and then film first and pockets tomorrow uh, with the first impressions. But I got to say, I got to do it now because this has surprised me so much. This is the Rosecraft Blades Joker, and this is a great little knife that absolutely I was not expecting to like as much as I do. It's recycling day and I took this knife and a couple other knives out and I was going to do some cardboard breakdown and then I was going to test all three knives and this is the only one I cut with. Uh, and, and so now I've got to go back and do some more later. This thing absolutely screamed through everything I threw at it. Now, I do have to give you guys a disclaimer. Rosecraft Blades sent this to me. I am a brand ambassador. Uh, I don't get paid for reviews. I do not get anything from them monetarily, but I do have a discount code for you guys. It's crazy sharp, all one word. Uh, you can use that at Rosecraft Blades. So this is a nice little slender flipper uh, with an ARPM blade that has been ground nicely down for as narrow as this blade is this has been ground down really thin which is one of the big complaints that i have about the benchmade 940 is that they could have done so much better a job getting rid of that ultra thick grind this cuts very very well this absolutely reminds me of another knife that surprised me the same way uh the the knife that i'm thinking of hang on a second i'll show it to you is the Cansep Prickle, and it has a lot of similarities to it as to why I like this, the grind, the way it feels in hand and things like that. Let's get this out of the way. Get back into this. So yeah, this has a lot going for it. For as narrow as it is, they did a really good job on the handles. Now keep in mind, this is the first I've carried this. So uh, some of these things, some of these opinions may change over the course of a couple weeks, but I don't think so. So nice and flat and straight gives you a cool, clean look, but it is also chamfered all the way around so it has that high spot in the middle and then just at radius is down but it's thick enough it fills your hand really really well this is the typical pocket clip you would see on like uh some of the other rosecraft or not not the typical pocket clip you would see on some of the other rosecrafts i mean the other rosecraft knives have got like a a wider base and then they come down on their pocket clip but this pocket clip is comfortable it does not dig into the hand. That's one of the things I was afraid of. So the deep carry pocket clip lets you carry it very deep in the pocket and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So this you could put in the front of your pocket and still have room for other things in and out of pocket. I didn't have any problem getting my keys and things out of my pocket. So really, really cool action on this is not bad at all for a knife that is not got a lot of weight to it. A lot of times lighter blades don't like to flip as well. It's not drop shut or anything, but it is shake shut home. You got a reversible pocket clip on both sides, you know, reversible pocket clip so that you can carry both sides, I should say. Sorry, the medication has really screwed up my ability to communicate sometimes. And the lockup on it is really good. There's no blade play in this. This is rock solid. One of the things I wanted to say is all the Rosecraft knives they've sent me have come with no lock, no lock rock, no blade play, no issues with that. They look at the handles on it though. Rosecraft is putting out some of the most attractive handles in two-tone you're going to find. The lines on them are really clean, and the lines on the knife itself are super clean. Like, the blade almost completely, almost completely disappears. I don't, I don't think anyone's doing the striking, contrasting colors as well as Rosecraft is right now, and I don't understand why more people haven't jumped on the hype train for some of their knives uh the blade shape is great you've got a big long flat here for doing heavy cutting and then some belly if you need it to get around things and the other thing about this being nice and slender you can get way up on this clear up to the tip if you need to and do some sweeping cuts I'm not trying to say you could process out an animal or anything with it but if you were doing like some meat processing at home you know, trimming the fat on a, on a brisket or something, you could do that. Or if you were doing it out camping. So Andy's, Andy's designs have really been awesome so far. So Swags and Andy are both designing over there, Andy Armstrong. And I have not disliked any of their designs yet. I like how clean they keep the, the, the liner marriage point to the scales and then maintaining color. And then the fact that they're using, I'm starting to dig this, 
backspacer being done in the same materials, the handles. So now you guys do know me. There's always some issues that I run into that I, that I mentioned. Um, so there, of course there are a couple negative things on this. So let's turn this around and look at the negative stuff. You guys are going to hear from a sponsor. Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my, my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. Just a couple of small negative things. And the majority of these things are not things that are going to bother most people. Uh, first thing, the pocket clip, I like the other pocket clips a little better than I like this pocket clip. It was probably a size constraint thing and it's not uncomfortable at all. I just kind of like the other pocket clip a little bit better. Better. I have a feeling that in the next video, you're gonna hear me talk about this has a tendency to walk around in pockets because these skinny pocket clips allow that sometimes. I like the idea of the wider pocket clip, but I could see with the lanyard hole, they might not be able to do it. Next thing, lock bar access. Lock bar access is not the best on this, even though it's got a cutout and everything. This is another knife they probably could have left that solid instead of trying to knock that and just maybe just softened the edge as opposed to taking out material. And then finally, after the landscaper comes through, so just the final thing now that the landscaper is done, the plunge, you can see, oh, now the garbage truck comes. Hang on. And today has been a day. Um, yeah, the plunge. This is another knife that the transition from the plunge into the grind uh, could have been done. If you're going to have that choil, it should be functional. It needed to come out about to here or the grind needed to come back further. Uh, I think that would have gotten rid of that a lot. It's not so much that this is a nightmare for a sharpening or it can't be sharpened. It's just an aesthetic thing. You're going to have a pronounced smile. And that area there is definitely thicker than the rest of the grind on knife. As you can see from the factory, it's got that that little spur, that little kick up, that little smile already forming. And it's just, that's an aesthetic thing for me. But overall, for a small little gentleman's knife or a small little slender folder, this thing is great so far. Uh, I have found very little wrong with it. It is a great little knife and absolutely just surprised the crap out of me this morning. So with that being said, let's turn us around. We'll do some final thoughts and I'll send you out about your day. Yeah, guys, so that's it on this. This is a great little knife. Uh, I'm going to enjoy carrying this, I'm sure. I did not expect it to be this good. Does it have some minor issues? Yes. Will there be some changes in my opinions over the course of the next couple weeks when I carry it? Possibly, but I've liked most of Andy's designs, if not all of Andy's designs from Rosecraft so far, and they're doing good work. Don't don't let uh, what other people are saying about their quality shy you away. They're doing really good knives at a decent price. So guys, that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why I can't change the content. Landscaper, hang on. If you want to support the channel, a bunch of different ways. You guys know I have sponsors through an ad in. I also have Tempered Trail. The best way you guys can, oh, both of those companies have discounts built into their links below, by the way. Coffee Brand Coffee is now a 10% discount year round all the time, sometimes higher depending on what they got going on. But the best way you can support the channel is to join a membership. I've got a tier based membership. Everyone gets early access to my videos. Everyone has access to my Discord server. It's actually gilded, but it's the same thing. And everyone gets exclusive content when I put it out. The baseline and premium guys are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube behind that paywall. Uh, and the other way you can do it is I have an Amazon link down below. It's a Amazon store. Take that link, pin it to your browser. Use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. And it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And if you really like videos, YouTube does want us to remind you guys, all content creators are doing this. There is a super thanks option where you can go in and it's like tipping. You can just drop a thanks, like if, like a dollar or two dollars on a video if you really liked it. But that's not just for me. That's for everyone. Landscaper just started up back again. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.